So the first website that I selected was islcollective.com, uh, which is a comprehensive website, but they also have um, an area where you have video lessons, both pre-made uh, as well as lessons that you can create yourself. Um, the purpose for this would be for English language teaching or English language arts. Um, there's a variety of opportunity in terms of uh, your flexibility to create new videos, as well as to sort um, and use videos created by other teachers focused on a variety of different areas. So if you take a look, you have uh, you know, a list of different uh, grammar topics that you could work through uh, and find a video that matches that or vocabulary. Um, you can sort by lesson type. Um, so asking about visuals basic listening comprehension, grammar practice, uh, deep listening comprehension. So looking at understanding meaning versus just understanding or hearing simple facts. Um, you can sort by level um, for language learner levels. Uh, this is based off of the CF, CEFR, the Common European uh, Frame of Reference for language levels. And then the student type, so adults, uh, business professionals, elementary school, high school, kindergarten, um, students with special needs and so forth. So um, you have a variety of interactive videos. Um, I'll show one uh, briefly. This is uh, sorted by new, where the students will, um, and the teacher can go through a um, video, and then there'll be pauses where they'll answer some interactive questions. Um, you know, it's an interesting, tool that can be used for a variety of set settings. Uh, when looking at the intended audience for this, uh, this could be used with both uh, elementary, middle, or high school students, or even adult learners. Um, I would look to use this with English language learners um, to work to reinforce certain grammar topics or certain vocabulary topics that we might be covering in class. Um, when looking at the ISTE standards, uh, this would apply uh, for the IST standards for educational leaders. Uh, the first that comes to mind is 3D, um, which deals with uh, working with uh, diverse learners uh, and cult different cultural needs of students. Uh, so the empowering uh, section from IST for leaders. And then also looking at the equity. Um, because this is a uh, one way that teachers uh, can be sure to look at the equity 1A uh, standard where all students have access to um, skilled and highly qualified teachers relating to technology. Um, so I think that this is a really interesting process. This is my first time using the Screenomatic capture. Um, so I decided to jot some notes down, um, put through, put together a short script, and then kind of ad lib a little bit while I was there. Um, so thank you, and I'm looking forward to actually using this one uh, in the classroom.